For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Coronavirus has been declared a pandemic. Travel is being restricted across the world. All of Italy is now on lockdown. As of March 11th, the total number of cases were over 118,000, out of which over 4,600 are new. The total number of deaths are nearly 4,300, out of which 280 are new. And 113 countries have been affected. While number of cases in China is steadily falling, with only 31 new cases reported on March 11th, Europe is becoming the new hotspot. Italy has now the highest number of COVID-19 cases after China. Over 10,000 cases have been reported, out of which 631 people have died. France and Germany are also seeing a rapid rise in the number of infections and deaths. After a delayed response, Italy is now implementing measures similar to China by locking down the country and extensively testing people. France, with the second highest number of cases in Europe, is yet to put in place such restrictions. After China, South Korea has also been able to contain the disease. South Korea has been able to scale up the testing to over 10,000 tests on a daily basis. It is also combating the number of fatalities by providing intensive care to those infected. The United States, however, remains the great unknown as the country is staggeringly behind in carrying out tests. The country has carried out only around 2,000 tests in total, according to the latest available data. It has not even been able to supply labs across the country with testing kits. Without carrying out tests, it is impossible to find the number of infected and identify clusters, all of which is essential to keep the disease from spreading. Since little testing has been done, the actual number of people infected in the US is probably not known. This number could be much higher than the figures available right now. All of these countries are now witnessing community spread of COVID-19. This means the virus is spreading within new areas which did not have the disease before. After testing and quarantine, the next essential step is to provide intensive care to those infected. This is a challenge for most countries facing an epidemic right now. The number of intensive care units available is falling short as the infections are increasing. Public health infrastructure in most countries has not been geared up to deal with the pandemic of this scale. Only China was able to adequately respond by setting up new hospitals and intensive care units to accommodate the large number of infected people. The results reflect the success of these actions as the number of infected in China is now declining. In West Asia, Iran is the worst affected with over 8,000 cases, the third highest in the world. Iran's response to the outbreak has been curtailed due to US sanctions which even forbid access to testing kits and drug imports. China and the WHO later started sending test kits to Iran. The economic impact of this pandemic is also expected to be significant. Global markets have crashed, production has fallen and oil prices have also fallen due to reduced demand. Before COVID-19, the 1918 Spanish flu was the last truly global pandemic. It continued to affect people till an year after the first outbreak and claimed at least 20 million lives. There is still no end in sight to the spread of COVID-19. Countries globally need to spend a lot more resources on quarantining hotspots, testing people and strengthening public health infrastructure if COVID-19 is to be contained.